The University of North Florida's three-story social sciences building was designed by Smith McCrary Architects to achieve LEED certification for energy use, lighting, water, and material use, as well as incorporating a variety of other sustainable strategies. One of the solutions that they felt could help them achieve many of these points was precast concrete. They chose a thin brick precast sandwich wall panel with two inches of insulation. By moving the insulation to the middle of the wall cavity, it reduced the likelihood of mold, mildew, and moisture migration within the wall. The designer also took advantage of the thermal mass of seven inches of concrete, which lowers the overall energy consumption of the building by 34%. The building was also awarded an innovative design credit for use of thin brick because it takes less energy to produce and transport. The precaster worked closely with the design and construction team to assure other lead credits were obtained. The project is a two-story thin brick structure. 60% of the uh, wall surface is covered in brick. 40% of it is an acid wash precast finish. Therefore, the color of the precast, 40% of the building, is a light shaded color, reducing somewhat to the degree the heat island effect on the building. The existing campus is all a hand laid brick structure, and the thin brick match existing hand laid brick on the structure. So it just looks and, it, and flows within the uh, rest of the building campus. The plant that produced the products there is 148 miles away. Therefore, most of the components within the precast system on the school were locally available. The aggregates, the sands, even the thin brick, and those systems were locally available for the project. So overall, it's a LEED certified structure, the first LEED certified project in Jacksonville, Florida.